Hey, welcome back to another Two Down Gaming Tech Help tutorial video. Today we're going to cover the AV to USB devices that you can use to stream your old systems like the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Now a lot of these devices, if you go on Amazon, like the one that I got, is the Red Go Video Audio VHS VCR USB etc etc etc. Long ass freaking name, right? Anyway, you can use this device to capture video from pretty much any AV source. I use it on my Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PS1, PS2, all that stuff. You got one of these, you know, like I did. I got it because it was cheap and it was my first time to do it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to grab this one. It's cheap just to do an experimental run. Got it, found out major headache. First, it was impossible to use the software that came with it to actually capture video directly through it. It kept telling me that it was an invalid source. And then after that, when I finally figured out how to get the video, there was no audio. I went through multiple routes trying to use OBS to route the audio through OBS, and that worked for a while, but the, the audio and video would kind of slip away from each other. And you'd notice when I was streaming or doing videos that the audio would fall behind the actual video. So I finally figured out a way that we can do this, and you can use these devices now to get video and audio, and they stay synchronized. So, starting out, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab Bandicam. Now, you're not going to actually use this for, you know, capturing or recording or anything. You're actually just going to use it to produce the video from your system onto your screen. So you can get the free download version, only get the full version of it if you're actually going to use it to do like recordings and stuff. If you have other software that you use like OBS or any recording software, you're not going to need the full version. Now from there, we're going to jump over to monitor three. You can see I've already got Bandicam running over here. What you need is to do the HDMI source. And then you'll see right here the little blue highlight I've got there is a little cog wheel, which is the settings. You click that, and you should have under devices is your AV to USB device. Go ahead and select it, and you can select your format. If you want a format that's closer to your console's original format, look it up on you know YouTube or Google or whatever you want to use. There's many sources you can get that show you exactly what your console's original format is, so you can get as close to that as possible. I'm just going to leave it at the 720 by 480 30 frames per second for now. Now when we do this, you'll see it has no video or audio input actually because it treats these things, your system probably treats these things as a camera. So it's only going to get video at that point. If you turn your system on and you've got it routed properly into this device, you're going to get video but then you're going to get mad that there's no audio. So we're going to go ahead and solve the audio problem while we're here and just going right along with it. Back to monitor one. Down here on your search bar, type in sound, and one of the first things that pop up should be sound settings. Click on that, and over on the right side here, you'll see sound control panel. Go ahead and click into sound control panel. And then if you go to recording, you'll see that your AV to USB is actually listed under a recording device. This means that it's listening for you to talk into it. It's not actually putting sound out to where you can hear anything from it. This is why I say they're registering them as a webcam, because a lot of webcams do have a microphone on them. So it's treating it as a video source plus a microphone. So you do not want to enable it as the default one. Leave, like my blue snowball is set to my default. You can see the green check mark there. Whatever your microphone is, it's defaulted. Leave it at that, because you don't want to mess it up. On the AV to USB, click Properties. Over to the Listen tab and select listen to this device. That is going to convert it over to being an audio, audio out source instead of audio in source. Now this may cause some feedback so you'll want to adjust your listen levels. So next tab over is levels. You can adjust it there. I've got mine turned down to about 60 and honestly it still does give me a little bit of feedback but it's not ungodly horrible. Like if you have that sucker cranked up to a hundred you're probably going to deafen yourself with all the feedback that you're going to get from it if it's a cheaper, you know, AV to USB device. So once we've got listen to this device enabled and you've got your microphone level set appropriately, go ahead and click OK or you can click apply then OK. 
click OK out of that. And then we're going to jump back over to monitor 3 real quick. And you'll see I've still got my Bandicam running here, and it's just a blank screen. But if I reach down and turn my Super Nintendo on, there you go. You heard the blink as it turned on, and now you're going to be getting the sounds from my Legend of Zelda that is the current cartridge in my Super Nintendo. Double-click and you've got a full window to record from. So if you're using OBS to capture it and stream or just to capture it for YouTube, you can go full screen with this sucker. Not a big deal. Double-click again and it pulls right on out of it. That is the only way I have found... Sorry, let me kill that there so you can clearly hear me. That is the only way I have currently found to be able to get video and audio from these cheap freaking devices. Uh, I mean, yours might have a different name to it, but it kind of seems like almost every AV to USB device out there that looks like mine is pretty much the exact same thing, and companies are just kind of stealing it from each other and stamping their name on it. So, if you want good video and good audio, go ahead and go through that, set it all up. Remember, if the video helped you out, go ahead and leave a like on the video, leave a comment if you want to, tell everybody if it helped you out or not. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel because remember, we appreciate every subscriber we get. And I'll see you in the next video.